Hello, everyone. Uh, I apologize for not having made a vid video in a while. I've been pretty busy. But I just wanted to make a video of my most recent flea market haul. A friend told me of a flea market a couple, couple miles away from where I live. So I went down there, and I'm very glad I did because I actually picked up five fans. These are four of them. The fifth one is currently disassembled. It's a little Lakewood box fan, which I'll make a video of later once I finish. But um, these are four other fans. I think I spent around $120 total on all this. And uh, I also purchased this knife. But uh, $120 total for everything. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll start with the cheapest one here, uh, or the cheapest I paid. It's this little Toastmaster, which is in very nice condition. It works just fine. It just needs some oil. Uh, I paid $5 for this because uh, on the location they were having the flea market, there was also a thrift store. And I walked into the tr thrift store, and this is the first thing I see. And for 5 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. It's in very nice condition. No rust or anything. Original wiring. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. And this one uh, was priced at $20. And I did not plan on buying it, but the guy came up to me and said he really wanted to get rid of it. So I and he paid 10 for it so I paid him 12 because I mean if anything I can just resell it it works just fine it's a two-speed I believe it's a mix of different parts because uh, the motor doesn't seem to have enough power to drive this large blade and uh, this cast iron housing looks very much like a some sort of polar cub or quick cool fan which definitely did not have this style blade and cage but I'll have to see about that that's my other find and my third find here was actually in an antique store after the flea market that I stopped by. It was priced at 25 It runs just fine. Paint is in very nice condition. Needs new wiring and uh, felt. And uh, as you can see here, the original head wire's been all taped up. And I removed the original cord and grommet as they did not look good. The, uh, it wasn't even an original cord. It was a brown, ugly extension cord. But um, the blades are bent up, the cage is bent up, but it's an 8-inch GE Quiet Blade, which are fairly hard to come by in this size. And for, tw for $20, I couldn't pass it up. They lowered the price 5 bucks for me. So I'm pretty happy with this one. It has a rattle while it runs, but I'm sure I can fix that. And then finally, probably my favorite find of the whole market, is this uh, 19, I believe 19... 10s to 1920s General Electric Whiz fan. This fan is in incredible original condition. All original paint, original wiring. The cord is still in amazing shape. There's the plug. And then it's just missing the little cardboard end piece there. And then the only issues I can see with it is just the missing paint there and there. Otherwise, the fan is pretty much perfect. It runs as good as it looks. I'll make a video of this, a separate video of this one running. Head wire is still in nice shape. I cleaned it up already and polished some of the screws, but I'm just going to leave it as it is pretty much. It is, it is in incredible condition. I think I paid $75 for this fan. Uh, I was originally pressed at $95, but I got them down to $75. So uh, I'll make individual videos of these fans as I finish them up here. So uh, thanks for watching. And remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.